Hey, how's everybody doing today? What's going on? Friday, yes. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm having a bad day. I am having a bad day. You hardly ever hear me saying that, but I am having a bad day, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. That was the good part. I woke up at 4.30 a.m., as I do uh, most every day, and I ran five miles. That was the good part. But my, my um, intention today was to go to the beach. They said it was going to be a hot day in the 90s, so I was psyched. I was going to take a ride out to the beach. And this morning, it was all cloudy, and I, I called off my plans, and it turned out to be a really, really nice, sunny, beautiful day. And I'm so mad. I am so mad. You understand? I'm so mad. Oh, well, I guess uh, there'll be another day. There will be, but let's talk a little bit about the market, all right? Uh, let's talk about oil, which is running up today. It's over 1%, back up over 46 bucks. Everybody's all bullish again. Rah, rah, oil, it's going to soar. It's going to soar, they're saying. The Citibank uh, technical analyst. Yes, folks, these banks, they employ technicians, which to me is just like, I mean, it's laughable. It's laughable, a guy like reading chart tea leaves. But these chart, imagine if you're a boat captain, you know, you're sailing into uncharted waters and your chart tells you where you have been, but it doesn't tell you anything ahead of you. That's what charting is. That's what charting is. I hate to tell you, right? All you little charters out there. Uh, I guess, but the banks employ these guys. It's really funny. So he's saying it's gonna soar, it's gonna soar. Uh, I don't see anything in the broader fundamentals, and I'll go over that in a second, but I want to make one comment. How bad is Goldman? How bad is Goldman? Yeah, I know they make a lot of money as market makers, but I mean, come on. Their head oil guy, who predicted a $55 price when we were up around, you know, 50, 51, then the market crashed down to 42, which I called, all right, because we were short. Then he reversed and said, it's, it's no good anymore. It's going down. <laughs> Now it's back up to 46. Goldman, man. All right, folks, let's go over the, funda the, the fundamentals of what's going on here, all right? Crude oil inventories up year over year. Gasoline inventories up year over year. Distillate inventories up year over year. Gasoline demand down year over year. Gasoline production up even though demand is down. Distillate demand down even though that was up, all right? Distil, I said distillate inventories are now up year over year. They were down back in April, like 8% under uh, last year. Now they're up. So we have surpluses and everything. We have in, uh, inputs, refiner inputs. That's the demand by refiners for crude oil to put into their refineries. That's dropping now. All right. The only thing bullish I saw in that report on Wednesday was exports. Exports were up pretty strong at a 10-week high but they're coming off a fairly low level. <clears throat> and that might just be a one week deal, folks. It could drop right back down again next week. So I don't see anything either, you know, uh, pertaining to right now, bullish or looking forward. I mean, if you have gasoline demand going down and you're making more of this stuff and you got refiners now seeing that and they're cutting their inputs, I mean, I, you know, this is all short covering. That's what it is. So today we got the first drop in um, rig count in 24 weeks. Whoopee! We got a one rig decline um, in the overall. That was the oil and gas. And we got a two rig decline in only oil. Woo-hoo! Whoopee! Woo! So they're going crazy. They're buying oil. They're buying oil like crazy. I'm saying, you know, the jury is still out on this, folks. The jury is still out. Stocks bouncing back up 100. You got down 150, up 150, down 100, up 100. So, but I think what we're seeing here is a slow, um, it's kind of a slow motion correction is what it is, really. And um, it does correlate very well to the fiscal flows, which slowed down. I got to go back and look, but they slowed down in May and they have been slowing down. Uh, and you saw the stocks roll over about the same time. So very, very close correlation there with the fiscal flows. What else? What else? Well, the dollar uh, still getting hammered. I am now, um, I am now long the Canadian, I, I'm sorry, I'm now um, short the Canadian dollar. All the hedge funds were short the Canadian dollar when it was at the bottom. Then we had this huge rally. Let me put it in spot Forex terms. 
Um, all right, so they were all long Dollar Canada like crazy. Up at 135, 136, I was selling up there, I was short up there. Now it's down to 129.60. I'm long down here. All right, they're getting short down here. There was an article about how a lot of these uh, hedge fund guys who left banks to go work for hedge funds, they're going back to the banks. You know why? Because they need a paycheck, that's why. They need a paycheck. They can't make money as hedge funds. They can't make money as traders. They need the bank to take care of them with a little paycheck every two weeks. They need a paycheck, everybody. Are you tough? Are you resilient? Huh? Are you a fighter? Can you make money in the markets? I can. A lot of my students can. You need a paycheck? It's okay if you get a paycheck. But these hedge fund guys, they go off all, you know, arrogant and all full of themselves. And it's amazing, folks. If you get MMT Trader, you know what I'm talking about because I point it out. I show it to you exactly. They're long at the top, they're short at the bottom. Every single market, they're long at the top, they're short at the bottom. They're long at the top, they're short. Over and over and over again. I mean, it's so easy for me to take money from them that it's like ridiculous. It's, it's really ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy that they exist for that reason. I'm not happy they exist for many other reasons because I think they're, they're parasites on the economy. I think they're very disruptive to the economy. They don't do anything. They don't make anything. They don't create anything. So uh, there you have it. Anyway, I'm really upset that I didn't go to the beach today. I really wanted to go. It's a beautiful day. If you're at the beach, good for you, man. Gorgeous day here today. Hot, sunny, just the way I like it. All right, folks. Um, unfortunately, uh, zombie trading is not coming out today. You know, I still got to make some tweaks in it, but next week for sure. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. Next week for sure, zombie trading, my new service, will be coming out. That is a short term Forex trading signal service, and it will use stop losses for all you stop losers out there. So, you know, it's a present to you guys. And that's it for now, folks. I'll see everybody later. Bye bye.